Beautiful girls all over the world. I could be chasing. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today is another collab, and this time it is hosted by Life with Sandy, and it is called My Ace in the Whole Casserole. Well, I'm making Weight Watcher Chicken Enchilada Bake. Um, it's a casserole, I guess. That's when I looked up casseroles, it come up. So I will show you the list and show you the ingredients that we're going to need, and we'll get started. So let me turn you around here. All right, here is the Weight Watcher Enchilada Bake. It is four points per serving. Sorry about that. I was gonna try to, you know, but I just put it in a recipe builder and that's what it come up. And I'll go slow so you can screenshot it if you would like. And it gives all the nutritionist facts at the bottom. So I'll show you what I'm going to be using for this enchilada bake. We have the star of the show, the chicken. I'll mind my drink. We have taco seasoning mix. You need one pack of that. You will need diced tomatoes with green chilies. Sorry, it's hard to look at things through my phone, my glasses. It calls for red enchilada sauce, but I have green, two green and one red. You'll need a can, well, it says a cup of black beans. And it says a cup of the um, diced tomatoes and chili. But I'm using the whole can. Same with the beans. I'm using the whole can. The reef, the fat-free refried fried bean. Oops! I just got hit with the door. Um, you use the whole can, and then you need. Hold on, my grandson's in the fridge. All right, you will need nine uh, extra thin yellow corn, corn tortillas. I put mine in the freezer, <laughs> and they're kind of like falling apart. So, that is everything, and you'll need a 9 by 13 pan, and once my helper comes we'll get started all right i forgot to mention one other thing you need cheese so let's turn you around and show you what i've been doing okay in a separate bowl you need to put the black beans rinsed and drained you need your tomato and chili drained it didn't call to put some of the taco seasoning in there, but I did. You put your chicken. Then this is the enchilada sauce, which you put a third a cup of it on the bottom of your pan. Then you mix the rest in with your chicken and the other stuff. Here's the corn tortillas. And in this bowl, I have the refried beans and the taco seasoning. That I will be mixing up and I'll be doing this solo my daughter is holding my youngest grandson so bear with me bear with me okay I have a third of the cup of the enchilada sauce on the bottom and now you are to lay your tortillas on the bottom bear with me I'm <laughs> trying to my assistant comes to help make sure I'm all right and then you are to Oops. Take some of this. 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 Take some of this.
I'm going to have to get a knife to spread this on the tortillas. So I will be back when I have that done. All right, I have the beans spread on the bottom as best as I could. And now I'm going to take the rest of the enchilada sauce, mix it with this spread. We'll be back. Okay, once that is done, we're going to add a layer of our mixture on top. Another layer of the tortillas. Top of that. There's our burper again. <laughs> Remember, everybody, she did that the last time she helped. I can't help it. It's all right. Need a little entertainment. I'm just going to use eight instead of nine. And I'll be back when I have the other layer. Hold on. You ready? Uh -huh. You take the rest of your mixture and you put it on the top of your. Don't mind the noise. My grandson's playing his game. Today is a busy, busy day. Kids playing games, grandchildren crying. Real life here, people. <laughs> Real life. Oh, now we got dogs barking. Shh. And then after this, oh. it's really going to be. Hopefully, this gets thicker. Maybe I shouldn't have used so much uh, anti. It's a lot of sauce. Eventually, I'll get better at these guys. And then you just put the remainder of your cheese, and then you bake for, they say 30 minutes, but I'm going to bake mine a little longer, and I'll let you know how long it bakes for at 350. And I'll be back to let you know how we all like it. So, all right, here it is. It baked for 30 minutes, and it I cut it in eight servings. I made some rice to go with it in case this is my son's. He's taking a nap. So I'll be back to let you know how we all liked it. All right, I come back with all everyone's thoughts on the uh, Weight Watcher Chicken Enchilada Bake. Everyone loved it. They said it was a little spicy. I mean, it was spicy, but it didn't really bother me. But it was very good. It was the first time we ever had it. And my suggestion is to put the beans on the corn tortillas before you put them in the pan. I had a hard time getting them to spread. So, other than that, it was delicious it was the first time we've ever i've ever made it and and 
that any of us had it. So I hope you all, if you try it, uh, let me know. And I'd like to know your thoughts on it also. So thank you again, Sandy, at Life with Sandy for this great collab. And I will see you in, oh, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye, everyone.